Hello people, so I'm doing a review for the new um, POV, PVOD movie, Promising Young Woman. Um, so yeah, I watched this last night, and yeah, I had high expectations going in. I heard a lot of great stuff. And yeah, let's just get right into it. I liked this movie, and I liked it a lot. This movie never dragged. I, I always get concerned when it comes to pacing, when it comes to awards films, and... I know I've been saying that every single video, but I just want to make sure people know this. But um, that's my biggest concern. This runtime, pacing, fine. I was in it from beginning to end. I wasn't ever bored. I never looked away. I was. I stared at my screen the whole entire time. Um, the message of the movie, um, of course, it's pretty not predictable, but it's it's the way you would expect the the, the message to go, and. Um, it's not exactly the message itself, it's just the layers that they add on top of it that really, really worked and made it in a above average, um, what's the word I'm looking for? An above average portrayal of what this message is trying to do. Um, I'm going to try to pronounce the lead's names. I am terrible at names. You guys probably figured that out right now. Carrie Mulligan. Carrie Mulligan? I assume that's it. Fantastic in this movie. I have not seen her in anything else. This is my first movie I've seen her in. And wow, she was really, really good. Um, I hope she gets more work after this. Because I, I'm sure she will. But um, she did a really good job in this movie. It's very, very well written. It's a attention to detail movie where you kind of catch on to little things. It gives you this little snippets here and there. And another thing I thought... I'm, that was worth mentioning is um, the costume design um, because of course you know the premise she goes out every Saturday or weekend day or whatever and um, acts like she's drunk and has a guy take her home or wherever they take her to and yeah every single time they give her a different costume and each and every single one of them is so different from than the last and so the, the costume design I noticed was really really good and um, the funny thing I noticed was that it's like attention to detail because of course um she she just gets to many different stereotypes that um she acts like many different stereotypes that you know that different guys would get to so it's it's very attention to detail stuff like that that I really liked about this movie the opening scene of course they kind of showed it to you in the trailer that if I didn't see it in the trailer that that would have been really well really really um shockingly good but I knew that scene was coming so um yeah, it, it was a really good scene. <laughs> and something, a little detail. I watched this um, movie with headphones on. And I noticed that, I don't know if they were my um, new headphones or not, but I noticed that it's only with this. I've watched other things on these headphones before. It has this back and forth effect in the movie. And it, whenever the character kind of, whenever things get intense, you almost get tense with it just because it has this back and forth from one ear to the other. It's like, you wouldn't, I sound crazy if you don't know what I'm talking about or if you didn't watch this with headphones in. But if you guys watch it with headphones, believe me, it has this weird sound effect and it's like mind boggling as well. And it's amazing. And like I said, this is one of those unfolding story movies. It doesn't really give you much. And then once you get to the end, you kind of know the whole, m most of the situation. And now that's where I get into my problems with the movie. When I can't, when I say when we get to most of the situation, by the end of the movie, there's a lot of my questions that we either vaguely answered or not answered to the extent. Because I'm not going to reveal too much of this movie away, but it's a certain type of movie. And for a certain type that this movie is, I'm not going to use a specific word I want to use because it's not really shown in the trailer. For this specific type of movie that it is, you would want all the um, questions and the nitty gritty answered because I know with this type of movies I know with this type of movie that this is if you haven't seen the movie you, I probably sound crazy and really perverted right now but you'll know what I mean once you guys see it and I will have a spoiler section once because this nitty gritty situation that that happened is a big part of the movie and you don't necessarily and it's a big part of the character's motivation. And not all the questions are necessarily answered there. And so I felt like I could have been more behind her character. Now, I'm not saying that she, I wasn't behind her character. I totally was. But not having all my questions answered kind of 
made, made me feel a little bit more detached than I should have have been to the lead in the movie. And my last problem is before I um, get into the spoiler section, because this next problem I have is just a complete spoiler. I really can't talk about it. There's a choice that happens that they make towards the end of the movie. A certain choice that led up to an event. I like how they executed the event, but the choice that led to the event could have been different. So, and there's a lot of easier way to have the ending, easier ways to have the ending more satisfying, and do what and have the same impact. And so it just felt like that big choice they made at the end was there for shock value per se. But yeah, those are just two little things. But yeah, before I get into the spoiler section, I will give this movie a score, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. And yeah, my, okay, spoiler section, 3, 2, 1, click off. Now, anyways, I don't think they should have killed her. Killing her was a big mistake. Killing there, her was clearly just there for shock value. She could have gotten the same, she she could have brought a tape recorder with her, and she she would have gotten a confession. Take it to the police, done satisfying ending you got it or something like that i'm not saying that's exactly what they have to use but there's many situations that were the same well the end basically everyone well that one guy that um apparently i guess i guess raped that um nina girl and that's what i was saying before you don't with her friend nina that's her big motivation not the answer not all the questions i have with her i'm like well, how did this happen? Did she kill herself or did she just die in the car wreck? Or did she get drunk and got, got killed in the car wreck? Or something like, like, what exactly happened with her is still kind of vague. And if I knew exactly, like, she killed herself or something like that, that would have been a little bit more of a connection to the lead in the movie. But we didn't necessarily get those questions answered. But anyways, what I was saying, um, killing her, the end of the movie, they all went to jail. There's other ways to make them all go to jail without killing her. Plus... Killing her maybe tried to push the message a little bit more, but this movie conveyed its message a lot throughout the movie. And so just, I uh, just, I'm just saying, I wouldn't have been, the the scene where she died was quite shocking and very effective, but it just didn't necessarily feel necessary. And I just, because I would have been more satisfied as an audience viewer if she lived. <laughs> because, um, but yeah, that's just, a small thing overall the movie would be would or would kind of be the same if she died and not tempted solely in the movie but the overall story is the same the very last um um scene even though she did die i don't like that the character died i did like the scene where that guy is texting that other guy um you think you'd get the last laugh or something like that that was really well done and very smart writing as well but so I get why they killed her, but it wasn't necessary, and I would have preferred an ending where she lived. But, yeah, that's my review for Promising Young Woman, so, yeah, I really like to go out and see it. I know I did elaborate on that my pro that problem a lot. It's just, I need for a movie this touchy with such a strong message, you kind of have to really elaborate on what, what exactly your problems was with it without sounding like a jerk. So, yeah, anyways, that's my review for Promising Young Woman, so like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and adios.